Small little car, a short little trip. Come explore the keys with us, you won't wanna miss this adventure. With Glenn and Jane. Okay, I wake up and Jane and I are talking, and I'm hearing this noise next to the tent, which is where the car is. Why well, unzip our and I look out the tent, and there's a buzzard sitting on top of my car. So I think, oh, that's kind of cute. That's funny. Then I turn around and look. He's eating a hole in the in the roof of our car. He physically tore a hole in the top of the convertible. You better be stay off my car. As soon as I get some clothes on, I'm gonna come out here and beat you. This is. You stupid bird. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, he's ripped like a four inch hole in the roof. You stupid bird. Get out of here. Get, get out of here. Lock it in the trunk. Never had a bird actually eat a hole in the top of my car. It must like leather. Hey, you know that's somebody's sneaker, don't you? The stupid thing. Go eat something else. Go eat something dead somewhere. He's eating the rubber insulation off of the front window of the truck. This is like campground from hell. Okay. <laughs> no cage cam back here? No. Okay. So how often does this happen to cars? It's pretty often. Really? Yeah. Um, usually it's just like the, the linings of the like windshields um, and feet and windshield. Wipers. Vandalism by Vulture. We use a heavy gauge tubular visqueen underneath our tent to keep the tent dry and keep punctures for the bottom of the tent. Luckily it fits over the car, so I drove the car into it and hopefully that'll keep the buzzards out of the leather. Beware the only bird that comes here. We had with a retired National Park Service lady, she said make sure you don't have anything edible because the crows will actually open the zippers on the tent or peck holes through the tent to get your food. So everything's going in the trunk. <laughs> yes, we're putting everything in the trunk. Jane and Glenn, they won't get robbed again. Ha ha ha, to you. Laughing. Everybody's laughing at us this morning. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> the big pink building you see behind us used to be the Conservation Museum and the Flamingo Restaurant as well. That whole building was covered with water during the last hurricanes. The Park Service is intending to restore it, but right now it's all abandoned. I'm kind of afraid to open these because I'm afraid somebody's going to swoop down and steal our food.
father's hatchet when he was a Boy Scout. Inflatable kayaking in the Everglades. We are. With cut and mouth snakes. That's what we need. <laughs> We're gonna make it to one of the chickies today because the winds in the big lake are too strong. So we're gonna stay to the canal and just sleep in the campground with a nice fire tonight. Glenn, I think it's time to head back. The boater just said that if we stay out here, we're gonna get eaten by mosquitoes. So let's head on back. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's do that. Heart of starboard, late matey. Okay. No, heart of heart of port, heart of port, matey. Go <laughs> back and put me six out down when I paddle. <laughs> Hey Glenn, how did the SS Craigslist do on the Everglades? So far, so good. No leaks. It was fun. Yay! Now time to pack her up. went by the country store and they got a shipment today of food in which they've just recently opened because of the hurricane so we picked up a chicken salad for dinner rather than driving the two hours in to get some Yay. food and to come back so we're gonna sit by the fire tonight we got the Bridget in the prompto bird bag and hopefully in the morning when we wake up the vultures won't eat the rest of the car so we're gonna have a fire tonight we're gonna play some Yahtzee and we'll have a good time yes, we will. All right, another dessert conundrum here. Um, we're talking about Oreos, because Jane actually bought Oreos um, at the country store, at the camp store. And she's over there ripping her Oreo apart, eating the white stuff in the center. And I said, so why do you do that? She goes, I like to experience all three of them. Well, you can experience all three of them eating them together, so. I like to take them apart. They're better that way. <laughs> I just don't, I don't understand that. I mean, why do people disintegrate a perfectly good cookie <laughs> Because it's all the same. You just bite it at one time. Because it's better the other way it's, when you take them apart. Well, why don't they just make them in three pieces then? <laughs> well, you can have it that way too, but it's more fun the other way. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> Good night.